This video will outline everything you will need to revise for the AQA Geography Unit 2 exam paper, Challenges in the Human Environment. The Unit 2 Challenges in the Human Environment paper is broken into three different sections. And in each of these sections, there are a number of separate geographical topics. The three sections are Section A, Urban Issues and Challenges. Section B, The Challenging Economic World. Section C, The Challenge of Resource Management. We will start with looking at Section A, Urban Issues and Challenges. In this section, there are three topics. There are no option topics in this section, so of course, you will need to revise everything within this section. The first topic is the urban world, and you will need to revise the following geographical content. You will need to know the reasons the population of urban areas is increasing, not just through natural increase, but through rural to urban migration, and the reasons people are moving into urban areas leading to the growth of mega cities. There is a revision video on both urban growth and mega cities on the Travelling Teacher YouTube channel. Check it out, it will help. You should have studied an urban area which has experienced rapid urban growth. For example, the city of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. You may have studied a different example. Best to check with your teacher. If you did study Rio, you will need to know how the city has a number of different land uses and why the population has grown. You will need to explore the social, economic and environmental challenges that the city faces and the solutions to these challenges. And to finish up with how the city is managing the growth of squatter settlements. There are five videos on the Travelling Teacher channel on the case study of Rio. Check them out, they will help you with your revision for this case study. Moving from Rio to the UK, the first thing to revise for this second topic is the fiscal and human factors which influence the population within the UK. You would have studied a UK city as a case study for this topic. This video will use the City of London as an example of what you will need to revise for that case study. You will need to know what makes London a major UK city, exploring factors such as education, industry, religion, culture and tourism. Have an understanding of the positive and negative impacts of migration into the city. Be clear on which impacts are social, economic and environmental. Once again, there is also another video on the Travelling Teacher channel to support you with this. Check it out, it will help. As the City of London is rapidly changing, you will need to explain how this urban change is leading to social and economic opportunities for the local population. Without forgetting how urban change is also impacting the natural environment. The last topic of section A is sustainable urban development. You may have studied a city such as Freiburg in Germany, which is attempting to be a world leader in sustainable development and living. You will need to know how the city has planned for social, economic and environmental sustainability. In addition, you will need to revise how urban transport strategies around the world are being used to reduce traffic congestion. The second section of Unit 2 is the changing economic world. The first thing you will need to revise is how development can be measured using a range of economic and social indicators. Do you know how to read and interpret the Demographic Transition Model, the DTM? 
the model that shows changes to the population as the birth and death rates decrease. Check it out if you don't. You may need to describe or even explain what this graph shows in your exam. Or how about population pyramids, which shows a population structure? You will need to be able to identify the level of development within a country by examining a population structure. Make sure you are confident with the reasons why countries may have a low or high birth rate and the reasons why a country may have a high or low death rate. You will need to identify and explain how different factors lead to uneven development. Physical factors such as countries being landlocked and a lack of precipitation leading to drought. Human factors might be a lack of education, a lack of health care and unfair trade. When countries struggle to develop, there are a number of consequences. You will need to understand how uneven development leads to inequalities in wealth and health and how uneven development results in mass migration. We then move on to the solutions to uneven development. You will need to be able to explain how investment, industrial development and tourism can lead to increased development within a region or country. You will need to revise how aid and intermediate technology can support a country to develop sustainably. How unfair trades can be tackled by strategies such as fair trades and how debt relief can support a country. You would have studied a tourism case study in your lessons with your teacher, such as the island of Jamaica, which has benefited from the growth of tourism in recent years which has generated a number of social and economic benefits. The first case study for this topic is Nigeria, a newly emerging economy. The first thing to know for this case study is where it is. You will then need to have an understanding of the political, social and cultural context of the country. Explore how Nigeria has a number of changing relationships with countries from around the world, which all influence the country's economic growth. The types of jobs that local people have in Nigeria are changing rapidly. You need to understand how the Nigerian economy is changing. Large TNCs, transnational companies, play a role in economic development in a number of countries around the world. And Nigeria is no exception. The TNC Shell has influenced the economic development of Nigeria. You will need to know how it has done this and also examine how the company Shell has caused positive and negative impacts. As you would have revised earlier in this section, the impacts of aid, you now need to revise how aid has specifically benefited Nigeria. Where has the money gone? What has it been spent on? And what has the impact of this been? And the final piece of geography content to revise for this case study is how Nigeria is managing the environmental issues within the country. The second major case study in this section is the changing UK economy. Firstly, you will need to revise how and why the UK economy has changed. Be clear on why there was a shift from primary employment into secondary and then secondary employment into tertiary employment. You will need to understand how and why there are changes to the UK's post-industrial economy. 
What do you know about science and business parks? Using examples of both, check that you can identify a number of key characteristics of each one. Industry has a number of negative impacts on the natural environment. Can you use an example to demonstrate how modern industry can be more environmentally sustainable? 100 years ago, there was a dramatic movement of people from the rural landscape into UK cities. But the UK is now experiencing an increase in counter urbanisation, where the population is now starting to move back into the rural landscape. You will need to revise why this is happening and the impacts of this change. The development of transport infrastructure across the UK is supporting it to develop. For your exam, you will need to use examples to explain how the development of motorways, railways, ports and airports is leading to economic growth and development. Although the UK is classified as a developed nation, there are still regional differences and inequalities in the UK, such as the economic divide between the south and north of the country. You need to understand why there is an economic divide and what is being done to address this issue. And the final part of the UK case study is to know how the UK is influenced by its relationship with other countries around the world. The final section for Unit 2 is Resource Management. The first part of this section, which is called Resource Management, you will need to revise. However, there are then three sections, Food, Water and Energy, which are option topics. You only need to study one of these topics. This video will focus on the topic of food. Check with your teacher if you are unsure which topic you should be revising. So within the first section of resource management, you will need to be confident in describing the global uneven distribution of food, water and energy resources. You will then need to have an understanding of the opportunities and challenges faced by the UK of the provision of food, water and energy. Within the topic of food, you will need to know what the impacts are of food insecurity within countries around the world, such as famine, undernutrition and rising food prices leading to social unrest. You will need to be confident in explaining how food supply can be increased using a number of different strategies, such as irrigation, aerophonics and biotechnology. In your geography lessons with your teacher, you would have studied a large scale project which is attempting to overcome food shortage within a country. A perfect example of such a project would be the Indus Basin Irrigation System located in Pakistan. For this large scale development, you will need to know what the advantages and disadvantages are. And finally, you will need to know how food can be produced in a sustainable way through methods such as organic farming and fishing from sustainable sources. So there you have it, everything you need to revise for your Unit 2 Geography GCSE exam. Most importantly, subscribe to this channel, The Travelling Teacher, so you are notified immediately as new revision videos for this course are uploaded. Engaging with these videos really will increase your chance of exam success. Thank you all for listening and good luck with your geography exam.